Good morning, adventurers, and welcome to Adventures by D. Where are we today? We are in Eastman, Georgia. What started at Eastman, Georgia? What famous roadside gas station full of fun started at Eastman, Georgia? Do you know? Well, I do, and it is Stuckey's. The part of Americana's landscape in the 70s that's making a good comeback. Now, we've made a lot of different vlogs on another place that claims to be the Disney World of gas stations, the guys from Texas. But as we put those vlogs up, the Stuckey's team said, hey, don't, don't forget about your local Georgia company that's making a national comeback. And so that's why we're here at Eastman, Georgia. We're going to find out where Stuckey started and talk a little bit about their story today on their special vlog. So Stephanie Stuckey, this vlog's for you. So back in 1937, right over where that building is, is where Sylvester and Ethel started Stuckey's. You could get gas and also some of Ethel's candies and sweets. They didn't have the pecan log roll yet, but Ethel made the sweets and uh, Sylvester WS ran the store. It grew from this little stand. It was not a building that big back in the 30s, but it grew from a stand on that, this location to uh, over 750 franchise locations in the 70s. Sadly, in the 80s and 90s, it was sold a couple times. The original candy factory closed and it fell into disrepair, but Stephanie Stuckey is bringing it back. She bought it a couple years ago and brought a brand new candy factory. She's building it up step by step and uh, we're gonna go take a look at Stuckey's after we get some more video here, a real life Stuckey's, their store and their store concept. Well, her nephew owns a store in Perry. We're gonna head over there in just a second. But right now in Eastman, I thought we'd just get a maybe a little bit closer look at this building before we head out because it's, uh, I mean, look at that slope roof. If you're a child in the 70s, imagine the thing painted green and that was your Stuckey's. I, me I remember going in buying playing cards for some reason, I guess to keep myself busy. This is before the internet and before iPhones and Blackberries, the whole bit. Um, books, playing cards, toys, rubber alligators, whatever kept uh, us little folks busy so we didn't bug our parents. That was the goal of the Stuckies and a little bit of relief for the parents to let the kids get out and stretch their legs and find some cool kitschy toys inside of Stuckies. I'm just gonna take a closer look at the building. But you can imagine, right, the gas pumps being out here. Or maybe it's a wholesale place now in the Bat Boutique Center. I don't know what business in there, but my point being, this was the first Stuckey's. Obviously, this is uh, not the small 37, 1930s pecan shack, but it was, uh, this. you can imagine this be a Stuckey's, right? See the roof? I can still, I can still see the faded teal on top. Let's zoom in. There are a few Stuckey's buildings around that are different businesses now that you could see around mostly the southeast. If you go to Stuckey's website, they'll let you know where you can still see the roofs like this. They're just in different buildings that converted from a Stuckey's. But um, their current stores are kind of a store within a store. So in Perry, we're not going to see this kind of slope roof. We're going to see the current version of Stuckey's, which is cool too. It has all the candies in it. Um, but come out here to Eastman because this is where it started right here. And I thought we'd uh, enjoy seeing, I don't know if you can have a Stuckey's vlog without seeing the slope roof. That's their, uh, kind of their icon. And they also had a sign company too. We're gonna get a look at those signs out in Perry too, the iconic yellow and orange signs. But wouldn't it be awesome if they painted that teal again? Uh, that's up to the current owner. But you can see it's a very quiet and uh, beautiful Sunday morning here in Eastman, Georgia. You can Google Eastman, but it's it's a couple hours um, south and a little bit to the east of Atlanta, Georgia. So Sucky still has a corporate office down here in Eastman. It's over here. It's more of a... Um, you know, corporate building, and then they have the uh, a loading dock out there. So they still have a little bit of a footprint here in Eastman where they started, which is kind of cool to see. I thought I'd just, since I was here in Eastman, I thought I'd drive over and take a look. Obviously they're not open for business on a Sunday, so I will uh, leave quietly, but it's nice to see the logo here in Eastman where it all started. All right, let's go over the Perry. Look at a modern day store. 
All right, welcome to Perry, to uh, actually modern day Stucky store. It is a working BP gas station. So we're gonna take you inside, look at all the goodies. They have hot food, breakfast, lunch, and they even have all the signature candies and those freshest pecan rolls. If I ever leave, I'm gonna try a pecan roll before we leave here. It is located right here in Georgia, exit 136, stop 75. So Perry is between Macon and Valdosta. So you're coming down 75 or up 75. Um, consider stopping and checking out what Stucky's like. You can see it's really close. It's, it's uh, less than, I don't know, 200 yards from the interstate. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in Perry, Georgia. All right. Let's go inside and see what's happening at Stucky's in 2021. Well, I got a shirt too. I think these are $15. They have a hat, shirts, things. And they also have hats here too that say Stucky on them. But I'm gonna get a shirt with the logo and then some Funky Dory. And then I'm gonna get a pecan roll. Take a look at my Stucky's haul, Chris, that I got from Perry. Look at this. I got a couple different pecan rolls and we're gonna try all this. Check this out, the plain plastic wrapper. And then I also got the more suitable for packing pecan log roll in a box. And then I know not to come home without saltwater taffy for my beautiful bride who likes taffy. So she'll be the judge of this one. And then after this, if this tastes well, guess what, Chris? We'll be all hunky dory. I can't go all the way to Stucky's and not get any pecans. Or is it pecans? I've heard it said both ways in Georgia, but definitely got to try that. This is what the whole company was founded on. So interested to see what these taste like. Now, do you notice there's two different logo styles on these? Do you notice that? I did not notice that. Yeah, so there's the This is more older I would older stucky style. Yeah. And I think this is the updated branding and packaging, I believe. Stuckies, correct us. Which logo is more up to date? Is this the original iconic Stuckies and you've updated it to the more of just the red? Which is what your shirt is. Right. So my shirt is just the red. I went with the classic logo. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I, I think we just have to just start with the pecan log roll. This is their most famous product and what the company was built on. So we have got to give the pecan log roll a try. This has a fluffy nougat center mixed with maraschino cherries, then hand dipped in caramel and rolled in pecans. Stuckies, what is nougat? I do know the pecan log rolls are around five to six dollars. The shirt was $15, the pecan log roll was around six. Okay. So we'll start with the pecan log roll. All pecan right. Pecan or pecan. And we are in our Georgia backyard. The perfect setting since it is a Georgia company. Yes? Did you know Stuckey's was the OG of road trips? They were the OG of road trips. I would believe it because it was the place that you saw when you would get off the interstate. Uh, they actually have boxes. So they have gift boxes each month, like items of the month. 
and she does a video that highlights what's in that month's box and it's stuff like sea monkeys and t-shirts and shark puppets and all sorts of things like that so it's still all the knickknacks first up is which one dave let's try the one in the box so um What does it have in it again? A fluffy nougat center mixed with maraschino cherries and hand dipped in caramel and rolled in pecans. So there is no chocolate. So there's no chocolate. So let's see this sucker here. It is substantial. I can't wait to get a sniff of this. Go for it, Dave. I believe they make this in Wrens, Georgia, outside of Augusta at their new candy point. That. Let's just take it out. Kids are sad that they're missing this one, let me tell you. Look at that. So let's give us a cut here. Oh, it's soft. I mean, it's a good knife, but... Ooh, look at that. I guess that's Chris's piece. Thank you. I always like the ends, except for like a loaf, you know, like a loaf of bread. I always end up eating the end because no one else eats it. But um, look at that. Or she smells something. It actually doesn't, he smells it. So let's, I have been waiting for this. Are you ready? Yeah, cheers. Cheers. It's really soft. Very mild. That's good. In the middle is almost like marshmallow. Yeah. A little bit it's sweeter. It's a nougat. It is the nougat. The um, inside's really light. If you think of a Three Musketeers, it's really light and whipped inside. It doesn't taste like that, but it's that consistency. Um, it has a little bit of a cherry flavor. It's sweet. Like when you take a couple bites, it's sweet. It's great. It's sweet. Our whole family could easily split this. I think it would be hard to eat a whole one. Yeah, it's sweet. It's very sweet. Um, and the other thing that's very interesting about Stuckey's right now is Stephanie Stuckey is basically the company because all of the Stuckey's locations are franchises. So there are no cor there are no corporate owned Stuckey's locations. So while she's trying to go in and revitalize those franchise locations, there's only so much she can do right now. And so while she was working on that, she recently did a post and talked about how she pivoted to working on the candy because she could solve for that. So their merchandise and their food is where she's focusing right now and has been, um, and they've turned a profit just from that. So well, let's try that hunky. Or you want to go to saltwater? No, taffy? no, no. We're going to go with the hunky dory. Okay, so this says Stucky's classic snack treat is made with crisp caramel, covered popcorn, and tossed with candy glaze, Georgia pecans, and almonds. It is. Is it famous, hunky dory? It says it is. I don't. It's caramel, popcorn, pecans, and almonds. So think a sophisticated version of Cracker Jacks. Fiddle faddle, um, what other thing would this be like, you think? Mmm. You can't taste it yet. Smell it. That smells really good. You love yourself caramel corn. I do. Mm. Hershey almost got him a piece down there. <laughs> I don't think you can have caramel corn. Hershey's our dog. He's lurking under the table. He likes popcorn. So, oh, here we go. Best Buy, uh, February 1st, 2022. Mmm. That's good. I wonder if the nuts are at the bottom. I didn't see nuts in there. They're, I'm sure they're at the I should have shook, shaken it. Oh. Yes, very much. Um, it's very good. Um, reminds me of caramel corn. I did not get any nuts. I just got the 
glazed popcorn. Can you put some in your hand? If you force me. That's good. It's also sweet. I don't know where the nuts are. Wait. Since it's just family, I'll do this. I bet that since the nuts are maybe denser, they they settle to the bottom. There's one. I got one That's already. That's a pecan. Are you dead? Mmm. The nuts the best part. That candy pecan. It tastes like it has honey on it. Well. Oh, that's good. Sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. Mm -hmm. So next, because I think this is interesting. So this is toasted and sea salt. I have never had sea salt pecans. Have you? Like salted pecans? I bet this will be really good. I'm more of a honey roasted guy myself. It says, Stucky's world famous southern pecan treats are that favorite road trip indulgence that generations of travelers have enjoyed as they rolled along America's beautiful highways. Pecans from Georgia, like the ones in this bag, are world famous because of their large size and naturally sweet flavor. Maybe these pecans right. came from the fields in um, Eastman. Eastman. Yeah. Then I am going to say, I bet Stephanie Stuckey wrote some of this packaging because she is a pretty good writer. That's interesting. There's your savory. Yes. I'm a savory person. I like sweets though, but look at that. Ready, put out your hand, Dave. Ooh, look at that. They've got some sea salt on them. Yes, they do. Oh my goodness. Now, did the sea salt come from the Georgia coast, I wonder? <laughs> so interesting. <laughs> it tastes like a salted pecan. Pecans to me are so buttery when you eat them. It's so different from a peanut or a walnut. That melts almost as you eat it. I mean, really, when you think of Georgia and you think of Jimmy Carter, you think of peanuts, you know, peanut crops. But um, when we've driven from back from Florida up I-75 through Georgia, there are places you can stop and you can buy pecans. And they have their own pecan orchard. It's almost time to shake the trees. That's interesting. Now, you know what I would love? The combination of the pecan from the hunky dory that is sweet, almost tastes like it had honey on it, the caramel, with the salt. That would be very interesting. Mm. Very, mm. those pecans are very rich. Rich, very salty, as mm -hmm. you as you would expect with the sea salt. You open this one. I've opened the others. This is so good. I must say, I didn't even know mm. that y'all Stuckies made saltwater taffy. Do they? It is from oh, Eastern Georgia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's go. Strawberry, orange, blueberry, lime, and lemon. Now, I love saltwater taffy. Can I open it? Yeah. Love it. Get it from uh, when we go to Dollywood. Dollywood used to make their own saltwater taffy right in the store. Uh, years ago, Disney at the Magic Kingdom, they used to make saltwater taffy right in their store too. I can't like, I love it. Unbelievable. Now this. Oh, I can smell it. Wow. Now, they do use dyes, so it is that color. Because they do have citric acid, palm oil, soy lectin, salt, natural and artificial flavors, but then they use 
yellow number five, blue number one, yellow number six, and red number 40. It does not say, and it does say it's manufactured equipment used to process dairy, peanut, almond, walnut, pecan, nutmeg, and soy protein. So because they're in the same plant, um, if you have allergies, you'll have to watch out. It says natural, like saltwater old fashioned, but the colors are, it, it, it looks like the, uh, Put some on the plate. Okay. I mean, it is the color on the package pretty much. That's not, I mean, so far. Okay, I'm gonna go strawberry. I should have gone orange maybe. No, I was I'll thinking about that one. I'll go orange. It is orange. Oh, it's really sticky. It's very good. Orange tastes like orange. Once you get through the initial stickiness. It's good. It's not it's not the same as like the homemade taffy like wrapped in that wax paper that like I, we get at Dollywood. It's a little different. It's good. I will say I love this package design. It pops. I love the clouds, the beach, and the back is with the Ferris wheel. Gives you that hint of buying it from a park somewhere. Okay. I like lime, so I'm going to go for lime. Yeah. I love taffy. I'm going to have to step away because I'm going to eat it all. <clears throat> so what is your favorite, Chris? Hunky Dory. Mine too. I enjoy the pecan log roll. I hadn't had one in a while, but um, mm -hmm. I love caramel corn, so it's not difficult to please me with caramel corn. And it tastes like a gourmet version of caramel corn. This is good. Um, I also really like the toasted pecans. So what do you guys think Yeah. about Stuckies? Uh, have you, as a kid, did you used to stop? That's most of the stories people comment when she posts on LinkedIn or Instagram, all of their memories, and that's what she's trying to rebuild. Um, and, you know, what were your favorite memories if you did? So I remember stopping and eating an egg salad sandwich with my family on one trip. So we usually made our own sandwiches and eat in the car, but we got to get a pecan roll and um, had a sandwich from their window inside their rest stop. I remember stop. piling out of the jump seat in the back of the woody wagon, the station wagons with the wood trim, and for me and my three little siblings piling out of those jump jump back seats in the way back. And, uh, and keep up the roadside attractions and everything you're doing with that. Uh, Stephanie, because it's been amazing watching you on your travels as you're visiting all of these uh, roadside attractions and your enjoyment with that as you're going around. All right, so with that one, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel if you would. It helps us out. And we're from Atlanta yes. and Georgia, so we tend to cover uh, Georgia attractions in Atlanta, and we do a lot of theme park stuff too. So you're going to see us do Disney, Universal, Dollywood, Wild, Wild Adventures. Adventures in South Georgia, uh, and a bunch of other theme parks. We went to Holiday World in Kings Island this year, and we're covering a bunch of attractions. We're doing a series of things to do in and around Atlanta. And uh, so you ask, and we aim the please, Stuckies. You put something on one of our Bucky's vlogs, asking for a Stuckies vlog. Well, here it is. Yes, yeah, so so we did it, we and hope, it was already planned. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed it. Yes. And with that, Dave, what should we say? We want to say, may, may the, the adventures, adventures be, be with, with you. you. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ringing a bell. So you'll be notified of our next upload. And as always, may the adventures be with you.